What's good geezer gang, we're coming to you live, but not live, from the floor of our front room and we've sat here with lots of different bags. We basically cleaned out our pantry. Yeah, we've refined the pantry. If you want to see what the pantry used to look like originally when we first filled it up, check the video up in the corner. But yeah, we've ended up with a lot of food left over which we're not really going to use, but we don't want it to go to waste. Because we're eating more healthy food at the moment. Yeah, you know, we're big on not wasting food, so we're thinking about what could we do with all this food? So we're going to take it somewhere today. Yeah, Jojo came up with a really good idea of where yeah. to take it. Comment below, what's your guess? What are we going to do with all this video? You comment below now, and you go to the end. I'll Just say what we're going to, what are we going to do with all this video? What are we going to do with all this video? What are we going to do with all this food? What am I going to do in this video? I don't know. Comment below if you know anything about anything that can tell me what I'm doing. We're in a bit of a Lego mess at the moment as well because Jojo's building all sorts of cars and everything. And also we have this to send out today. This is the box of goodies to the lucky winner of our giveaway that we did recently. And Jojo wrote a little card and everything. It drew some hearts on the front. To Kate. That's the That's Kate. That's the person who won. And he was, <laughs> he was very sure that it would be sealed on back so he's not put some brown tape. Yeah, he put brown tape on the back. Yeah. She'll, she'll need a crowbar to get to that. Duct tape on the back. Yeah. Duct tape. You didn't want anyone to look in there did you no well, well done kate so we're going to be sending that off today but we've got to get all this in the car and take it where we need to yeah. take it yeah we've got all sorts of things we've got big bag of crackers loads of wheat bran loads of wheat bran corn, corn and some nice ah! biscuits nice biscuits we're doing a good thing today with this we're, we're we're being practical with what we have to get rid of so without further ado let's go she wouldn't put up with this if we didn't have a camera <laughs> Yes, I would. That's that. You guys are weird. <laughs> well done! Right, Jojo, we need to get ready to go. We need to clean up all of this right now. And we can do it later. What have you been doing, mate? Been building cars. Ah, oh, yes. You have quite the display. This almost looks like the lineup from Wacky Races. Comment below if you know Wacky Races and if you don't get to know Wacky Races. So we're on the wet and windy road right now and I've got my chauffeur in place as I need some work to do on my uh, laptop. And uh, Jojo is uh, taking his time because it's going to be, we're going to be on the road for about an hour. He's taking an opportunity to get cosy and have a nap. His cheeks all squished. How cute is that? I think he's trying to get his cheeks like yours, mummy. No, he'll never have, his cheeks will never be like mine. Takes years of work. I don't know how long we're going to be there today. My cheeks are squidgier than they really are. Really? Puffier. Oh. <laughs> Every time we think he's asleep and he's not. I know. I can't remember where we were before. I think we were away. We were in a hotel and we laid him down the bed and then he was like, boo. <laughs> we just carried him from the yeah. car. I know, cheeky thing. He's like, I'll let myself get carried in. I'm hungry though, mummy. We made a big salad tub that we've taken with us. We made a humongous salad. Humongous. So we filled a big tub of salad Ooh. with your cheese sauce. That guy was naughty. <laughs> that was the sound of Katie keeping calm. Wee. Yeah, so I, I might have to tuck into that now because I, I had a couple of bananas for breakfast, but. That's our lunch, Daddy. Yeah. It's lunchtime now. Jojo's tucking into the salad. I'm having to steady this big tub. This is an eating car show. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a what? Shut up. Don't hide. Come on, you want to share something uh, with no, the gang? I meant to say a car eating show. Wait. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> a car. A eating car. No! <laughs> oh, you figure out. I don't know. An, an eating in the car show. A car mukbang. <laughs> Brain bang. <laughs> How is that, Jojo? It's like a cheesy salad with chickpeas. Is that right? Let's just say it's a salad. Yeah. And what kind of show? Like a, a, car, a car mukbang. <laughs> a car mukbang show. It's a car eating show. A car eating show. So we're eating okay. cars. How's your car salad? So this is all the salad and the chickpeas are cars. Yeah. See what you've created now? You're right, this is definitely a humongous tub. I want to go for Mahusiv. Where are we then, Jojo? Fred Animal Sanctuary and it's really cold. Yeah, we're at Friend Animal Sanctuary, it's really cold, it's windy. But this is what we've come in for with all this food. We're going to donate it to the sanctuary to give to the animals. And yeah, we're going to have a little look around. For a bit, it's cold. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, it's all right for you. You got wellies on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got I got snazzy wellies on. Uh, it's a biscuit. Um, 
Hello. So yeah, we just met Mark, who's a guy that runs this place, and you might have um, seen this here in a video before, about a year ago, with my mate Dan, who was trying Veganuary, and he came up here with me just to see what the animals are like and what it looks like when they have some freedom. But yeah, he's uh, he's just bringing his truck around, then he's going to get the food out, and we're going to go and feed the animals, feed the pigs. It's quite a sight when you see the pigs feeding. <laughs> I don't mess about. Jojo, have you seen a pig before? I don't know. I don't think you've seen a real pig before. Good seeing turkeys. So turkeys is your favourite animal? Yeah, one well, of my favourites. The avocados are out. Oh yeah, mine that's just deep slurry sludge there. Look! <laughs> Rather you than me. <laughs> Oh, melon there. Oh, yes. oh. <laughs> there's another pig coming in. I'm stuck. My foot's stuck in there. Oh, oh hello. Looks like I'm getting surrounded by pigs though. Pig fest. Yes, pig fest. <laughs> no, 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 look, look at the avocado. Straight through the skin. <laughs> This pig's nice. He's huge. He's really nice. Look at this one. Wagging their tail. Hello. 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 Yes. Jojo, it's really important we help places like this out, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Going for the melon now. Yeah. An animal from my own heart. This one's stumbling on the melons as well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These pigs are funny. See, so look, they get a bit grouchy when they get too close to each other. They're like, no, it's my melon. <laughs> Feeding time. Don't hit the pigs though. Look! Okay, there you go guys. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> the pigs, yeah. So many pigs here. Yeah. Oh. How many pigs? Oh. You got some melons? Yeah. Get some melons for pigs. Oh, he's gobbling up like, the one I just threw. Ah, oh, I think he likes that. It's just the sound of them all chomping away, isn't it? Oh, he's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, there's a little, little one. Hello. It's <laughs> <laughs> very cute. Some blissful eating. They get a bit angry at each other. Yes, they're like, oh no, no, this is not food. Do you like the pigs, mate? Yeah. Which one's your favourite? I really uh, like the baby one. Right? You like that little one there? Yeah. yeah. Look, look at the tail go. <laughs> they're beautiful animals, aren't they? What's going on, Jojo? I like some noise going on. Is there another pig in there? Were they having an argument? No. You've come to see if they're all right? Yeah. All right, we're all done. I'll tell you what, my feet are frozen. I'm muddy, I'm cold and wet, but there's not many places I'd be happy being like that. Yeah. I don't know, I just love it there, even on this kind of day. That was your first time, wasn't it? Yeah. Or do you, do you oh, like it? beautiful. Because you've only seen video of me yeah. there. I, d I didn't realise those pigs were so big. I know. Because you can't, you don't realise on video how big they are. I just love the um, story the guy was telling me of how he ended up there. Yeah, Mark, the guy who runs it, he's a real top bloke. He he went there originally, he wasn't vegan like 15 odd years ago. He visited because they were wanting to use the field at the back for some... Event or something. Event or something uh, for the weekend and the woman who was running the sanctuary said you don't have to be vegan while you're here but you must be vegetarian at the very least and he said don't worry i'll be vegan while i'm here yeah so it won her over yeah he, ended up, he went vegan married her became uh like worked on the sanctuary with her and then he took over when she died a few years ago yeah. it's just beautiful because he's continuing her legacy and do you know what i think it's always worth it coming to these places because you just remember who is really at the center of everything that we try and promote and inspire and others yeah do you know what i mean that's a, that's a living being which is reduced to products 
and we have in to like people have to support these places because yeah. there's so much he needs to do there and so much he wants to do and he just needs the funds yeah. and he needs the help you know and really good plans as well really effective plans like education center a food place he wants to start a permaculture there and a cafe so yeah. that he never um volunteers come in run the cafe and then he can make some money to help support the place a bit more yeah he's having to turn animals away and say to people you know you can't bring them here because this you know he's only so got so much time and space hasn't he yeah i'll put a link in the description so you can find out how you can donate and help them out it's really worth supporting these because they they provide a haven an actual sanctuary for other living beings and i'm sure of that if we were in bad situations we'd love it if we could go somewhere else where we could live out our lives and safely mm -hmm. you enjoy it though it's worth it yeah yeah i loved it it's, jojo loved it i know i it, didn't think he'd be that bothered but i know he was, he was all what? really into the pigs yeah but we're probably gonna come back somewhere like this warmer months i want to like stay somewhere around here like we'll find a, like, a nice cheap hotel we'll stay here and then we'll help out for a few days maybe yeah see how we can what we can work with jojo yeah. there volunteers are really good for the place but he said he needs contract he, he's actually getting to the point where he just needs contractors to come in someone's dedicated on the yeah, payroll and just clear the space down here so he's got space because it's just turning to mud everywhere yeah he needs to sort it out he said to me so hard finding the time to get anything sorted because he's looking after the animals all yeah, day they take up so much time it's like having your own big family really isn't it and yeah really big family yeah <laughs> it's like having like hundreds of kids isn't yeah it? he's got over 100 animals there easy okay slowly getting warmer drier blurrier <laughs> <laughs> and clearer yeah we just had a few more errands as well you know it's, it's not a good day unless you have a few errands we had to pick up some old christmas presents from katie's uncle and drop off christmas presents as well we were, we were away because we were away for so long over christmas people had have christmas presents for us they didn't get to give to us yeah so jojo's got two Christmas presents to open. Mm. Not yet. I've also got to go and see my sister. Um, but also, uh, the post office in this area where we are now is gone. And I want to post that box, but. You'll have to do it tomorrow now. Yeah. We'll do it tomorrow. My yeah. goodness. Do it tomorrow. Disaster. Let's just go to. Oh, your... and cat update. We told you yesterday, well, last vlog, that the lady came and took the cats. And, you know, since then, Cat Mia has been coming back and looking at the area, meowing, almost kind of going, what the hell's going on? Where's my kittens? Why aren't mm -hmm. I here? And we spoke to the lady last night and she agreed that, yeah, it's best that they bring them back. So they've been brought back. Sean, Sam's girlfriend, was there to uh, open the door and they're all in and cozy and they're feeling with their mummy. Right. Jojo. <laughs> super excited to open his presents so should we go to your sister's and he can open them there she's not there yet we're gonna have to kill time waiting stuff oh yeah let's go to the funeral directors or salon one well what about grooming towels a pet boutique and spa oh. do you think they do humans we, we'll pretend that jojo's a long-haired dog no let's pretend you're a dog how dare you no. well, so we're just getting to my sister's now. I haven't seen her for like two months now. I haven't seen her since we got back. It's Kelly, not it's Cheryl. Kelly, yeah, you haven't, you've met Cheryl obviously the other day. Yeah, I saw her then. That wasn't two months ago. I was sister Kelly. I don't know if she will agree to be in films and we might have to just like surprise her and then run. Thanks. Hello. 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 You want to open your presents now? It's just some flipping old cars. Oh, look, it's like fire truck as well. Oh, yeah. Forest lane. Oh, Wicked. thank you, everybody. Uncle John and everybody. Izzy. Izzy and. Your reflexes are poor. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Is it those things? Laser pegs. It looks like Lego. It does look It's like a helicopter. It. I thought it was some sort of. Like a gun, gun yeah. Nerf thing or something like that. Oh, yeah, so yeah, it's you just construct it, but it. How really many cool. pieces? 88. We'll build that when we get home, yeah? Do you want to no introduce Lana yes, quickly? Yes, this is my uh, niece, who's like, you know, I, we did the uncle and aunt thing when you come in and go, haven't they grown on you so big? But you, you're like really good at kickboxing, aren't you? Yeah. She's yeah. in the British Nationals. Yeah. I didn't know that. Last time I heard is like, you know when like kids learn things and they go, oh, I'm good at kickboxing. I'm learning kickboxing. Watch this. Bang. And they just punch you. She's gone past that phase to like <laughs> hone. Hone it all in. It's all about inner strength. Look at the trophies she's got. And she just said a minute ago, I haven't got many. Look at the size. I've never had one anywhere as big as any of those three. Look at the size of these. <laughs> and that's like proper heavy as well. It looks like Tony Montana on there though. I'm gonna hold it. You wanna friend me? 
I've got a fridge sob, pal. She's got like 15 of them. Do you know what I want to do? I want to put them all on her now. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it might be easier. I might have to do shoulders as well, just to do you a favour. Kelly, it's probably best that you just go out and just ignore what we're doing. There we go, ultimate fighting champion. You can hold that one in your hand. Wow, man, you look like a rapper. Hello, <laughs> Jojo. Hello. Lana's got her power, Rocky. What is he? He's a bearded dragon. A bearded dragon. Bearded dragon. Yeah. Hey, man. His spikes move. Oh, no. Breathing. Oh. Is Rocky. Boom. What's happening, man? This is Rocky. Rocky is, what do you say, four years old? Yeah, four. Rocky knows how to be still. Full on meditation. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 That was nice seeing those guys. Oh, I know. I think how much Lawn has grown up. We need when, to go there more, don't where we? Where does the time go? So that was my sister, Kelly. You didn't actually get to see her. You may have just heard her in the background. She didn't want to be on camera. It's very different to Cheryl, who is very not shy at being on camera. But yeah, it's so nice seeing them. I haven't seen my niece, Lana, either for a very long time. And man, she's just grown up and changed. She's just becoming such a wise young kid. Proper woken up. Like, unbelievably woken up. She's 13 years old. She's figuring she? out a lot of truths of the, of, <laughs> yeah. of the earth and everything. And and lies that we're told and things like that. Yeah. Kelly actually has two children, uh, but the younger one, Lola, only stayed for a bit there. She left, so we didn't get to spend much time with her. What was really good is we were talking about, you know, what about if they try Veganuary? And the first thing they said, well, it's not January. And they said, well, this is the good thing. With Veganuary, you can sign up any month of the year now. They have the support network and everything for any month of the year. And so they're gonna do it for March. They're gonna start in March and they're gonna do it together, Kelly and Lana. That actually seemed really exciting yeah. about it as well. And because Lana does kickboxing and That's she fun. is becoming like close to a national champion for her age group and her weight category. Yeah, even they knew just from us suggesting that they said, oh, that will help with your training and your kickboxing. So obviously they know it's better for the body, which is really good. And Kelly, she'll be so good. I'm so excited to see how she'll do. She'll do amazing. Kelly is so good. She grows her own vegetables in her yeah, garden and, and lots stuff like that. As well, lots of different stuff. And she's one of these people, she likes experimenting with cooking. She likes cooking and enjoys that. So I'm sure she'll be really, really good at it and yeah. really embrace it. So they're going to start on the 1st of March. Yeah. So that's really cool. They're trying that. Mm. Be exciting soon. It's not really What should we call it if it's March? If it not... Varch? Varch? Vigarch? Me March. Vigarch. You can't Vigarch. really. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Vigarchuary? No, that's still it. January. <laughs> you know what we're putting it to you, geezer gang? Leave it in v the vegan comments. in March. Leave it in the comments. What would you call it? Come on. We need help. We're struggling here. <laughs> Shout out time! This is the first time we're ever doing shout outs in the car. This day will go down in history. First time you've done a roundup in the car. Oh my goodness, that's right. What's happening to this channel? Why are you doing a roundup in the car? Well, I've, I we'll probably won't have time again. We're covered Shout in mud. We need to clean up, and I've got to get on with editing. We're, we're not. We're covered in mud and pig poo. Yeah, there's probably all sorts of poo in there. <laughs> and we need to get Jojo in a bath, don't we, darling? Yeah. So I just want to give shout outs to the following people. We're going to give a shout out to Lewis from Edinburgh, that is Vegin Again's son. Shout out to, I hope I pronounced this right, Kiara Lloyd. And shout out to Beth J. Thanks so much guys for requesting your shout outs. We really appreciate you guys watching. And thanks for all of you watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. And leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. We love engaging with you guys, the geezer gang. You make our days so much worthwhile watching this channel and leaving your comments. And if you're new to this channel and you're liking the sort of videos we're doing, we'd love it if you subscribed and joined the geezer gang. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye guys. Concentrate on the road, Bye you. Guys. Concentrate on the road. I am.